The number one reason that most people come to Tai Chi is to improve their balance, fall prevention, which if you ask me, they're two parts of the same thing. If you can control your balance under extreme circumstances, you can catch your balance if you lose it, which we all eventually will. So first thing I want to bring out is if you're one of the people that are coming to Tai Chi to help improve your balance because you feel like you have an issue with your balance, Go grab a chair and set it up next to you right now. It's going to give you a little bit of security and some stability. So if you lose your balance, you can just really easily reach down and grab a hold of it. Try not to use it, but have it there if it makes you feel more comfortable. So a couple important points I want to go over as far as the balance is concerned. We're going to get into these more specifically, but the first thing is the foot that I'm standing on, we want to have at a 45 degree angle. That's going to give us stability in all directions. Moving from the foot, I want to talk about the knees. The knees always have to stay bent. If they're straight, the muscles relax, and then they can't do what they're supposed to. If they're bent, it's going to make the muscles work a little bit more, but that's the important thing. The muscles will be working. They're going to do what they're supposed to and help hold up your balance. I also want to talk about the hips. I'm going to turn to the side here. As I stand here normally, I've got a curve to my lower lumbar my butt kind of sticks out in the back a little bit. What I want to do is tuck my hips under and get my butt underneath me. Now, if you see my knee, when I do that, it automatically bends my knee for me as soon as I tuck that hip. So these are the positions you always want to think about. Is my foot at a 45 degree angle? Is my knee bent? Is my hips tucked under? Above that, I also want to talk about the head. Our instructor talked about Christmas tree ornament. If you were a Christmas tree ornament, where would you dangle from? Your head wouldn't go forward or backwards. Your head would always stay up regardless of how that Christmas tree ornament moved, right? So if you keep your chin tucked down, that's going to lift your neck and keep your head right above your shoulders. If I turn to the side and I lean that head forward, average head weighs about 10 pounds. That means mine probably weighs about eight but that's still eight pounds pulling me this direction or pulling me that direction if that's where my head's going. But if my hips are tucked under to make my knee bent, my chin is tucked in to keep my head above me, I can hold my balance relatively easy from that position. So let's try a couple of balancing exercises. We're gonna start off with the right side. If you're right-handed, this is probably gonna be the easy side for you to balance off. The way I'm standing right now in a neutral position, my toes are pointing straight forward. Problem is if my toes are pointing straight forward and I'm standing on one foot, I don't have any stability side to side. If I turn my foot too far, I don't have any stability forward and back. So what I'm looking for is a 45 degree angle. That's going to give me stability in all directions. So I'm going to start with my right foot. I'm going to turn the toes to face towards the corner of the room. From there, my left foot is going to push my center, that's where my buttons are, to the middle of my right leg. Once I feel that weight leave that left leg, I'm going to bring it in front of me into what I call a cat stance. I think cat stance, there's a cat in front of me, I'm putting my foot on its tail, but I don't want it to scream, so it's very light pressure. My hands can be on my hips, my hands can be right here in the middle, or if I have an issue with balance, I can put my hands out to the side. If you really have an issue with balance, bring a chair up next to you so you can catch it if you lose your balance. To begin, I'm gonna change my cat stance and I'm just gonna pick up my toes and let my foot hover above the ground. If I lose my balance, all I have to do is put my toes down and I can catch myself. If that's not enough of a challenge, feel free to pick up the knee and try to get it to the level of the belt. That's really gonna start challenging your balance muscle. If that's not hard enough, take your foot, put it out in front of you. 
that's really going to be a big balance challenge on your balance muscles this is what you're doing make sure draw the knee back and then set the foot down slowly never losing control of our balance till we come back to our cat stance from there i'm going to bring the left foot in bring it back to a neutral position and turn my right foot back to face forward let's try that on the left side so the left foot's going to turn to that 45 degree angle right foot is going to push me over to the left foot then it's going to come out to the cat stance. I'm going to start lifting the toes. Again, if that's not enough of a challenge, lift the knee. Try to get it up to the level of your belt. If that's not enough of a challenge, point the toe out. That's going to be the biggest challenge of this balancing exercise. When you're done, make sure you come back to bending that knee and slowly setting down the foot. Again, you never want to lose your balance. Once you're there, bring the foot back and come to a neutral position with the feet shoulder width apart. So that is with the foot going forward. Let's try this same thing with the foot going to the side, switching back to the right leg. So the right foot's gonna point to the 45 degree angle, left foot pushes me over to the right, comes into the cat stance. Now I'm gonna pick up the toe and I'm gonna move the foot out to the side of me. You'll notice my body weight has to shift you don't want to lean. That's going to make you fall. You always want to keep your head lined up over the foot you're standing on. If that's not enough of a challenge, you could try to pick up your knee and try to challenge with your knee out to the side. If that's not enough of a challenge, you could put that foot out there straight. Notice I had to lean a little bit more, but my head stays up. When you're done, make sure bend the knee first, slowly set down the foot, keeping control of the balance, so you can very gracefully change sides. Moving the left foot to face that 45 degree angle, right foot, pushing me to balance over the left foot, coming to the cat stance, picking up the toes, putting the foot out to the side. Again, if that's not hard enough, bend the knee and lift it up out to the side. If that's not hard enough, point the toes and put the foot all the way out to the side. Again, if that's what you're doing, make sure when you're done, bring the knee back and slowly set down the foot back to where it started from, keeping control of your balance. Then move back to a neutral position. From there, you can also balance by putting your foot to the back, changing back to the right side. So I'm gonna turn the right foot to a 45 degree angle. Left foot's pushing me. I come into my cat stance. Now when I pick up my toe, I'm going to put my foot behind the leg I'm standing on. If that's easy, I can lift my knee and get my foot up to about belt level. Either way, when I'm done, I'm going to bring the foot back to the front. I'm going to gently set it down into a cat stance so I can reset and change sides. So now I'm gonna change to the left side. The left foot turns to the 45 degree angle. I change my weight over to the leg, move to the cat stance. When I'm comfortable, I'll lift the toe and then push the foot behind my other leg. Again, if that's not enough of a challenge, try lifting that foot behind you. That's gonna challenge your balanced muscles. When you're done, make sure Bring the knee back in front of you to that cat stance so that we can switch our weight back to a neutral position. So those are the main three areas that your body is uh, challenged in balance. You might fall forward, you might fall backwards, you might fall sideways. You can also transfer between those balance points. Let's move back to the right foot. So my right foot's gonna turn to that 45 degree angle left foot pushing me over to find that cat stance. This time, I'm gonna pick up the toe, I'm gonna lift the knee, I'm gonna put the knee out to the side, I'm gonna put the knee to the back, I'm gonna bring the knee back out to the side, and then to the front. And then you can set that toe back down and bring it in to a neutral stance to change feet over on the left leg, turning it to that 45 degree angle. Coming into the cat stance, gaining control of your balance before you lift the toe. Lift the knee to the front. Lift
lift the knee to the side, lift the knee to the back, lift the knee to the side, back to the front, and then set the toe down and come back to a neutral position. Now, if you're being challenged on your balance, you can certainly hover the foot down closer to the ground as you move to those three positions. Anytime you lose your balance, just put your toe down, catch yourself. Repeat that exercise over and over until it's comfortable. Then you can start lifting the foot higher. If you can get the knee higher, you can get the foot out in front of you. I'll give you a demonstration of that. Gonna switch back to the right leg, follow along if you can. Right foot changes to the 45 degree angle. I'm gonna come to the cat stance. I'm gonna lift the knee, I'm gonna put the foot out in front of me, bring it back, I'm then gonna to move to the side. Bring it back, I'm then gonna to move to the back. Then I'm gonna bring it back, go to the side, bring it back, go to the front. If you lose your balance, set your toe down, catch yourself, you don't have to fall. From your cat stance, reset yourself to a neutral position, Let's try that on the left leg. Let's find out what's our best balance leg. Left foot turns that 45 degree angle. Body weight's gonna shift the balance on that leg and come into that cat stance. Toes come up, knee comes up, foot in front, then back, going to the side. Out and back, going behind. Out and back, going to the side. Out and back, going to the front, out and back, and then back to a cat stance. Bring yourself back to a neutral position. There's one level that's a little bit more challenging than that. Let's see if you can follow along with this one. This time, I'm not gonna bend my leg. I'm gonna keep my knee straight the whole time. Switch into the right leg. Right foot turns to that 45 degree angle. Body weight shifts so I can come into that cat stance. I'm gonna lift up the knee, foot goes out in front. It's gonna stay straight as it moves to the side. It stays straight as it moves to the back. Stays straight as it moves to the side. And then back to the front. And then back to the cat stance. Let's try that on the left side. Come into a neutral position. Turning that left foot to that 45 degree angle. Changing my weight to come to the cat stance. Knee comes up, leg goes straight. Side, back, side, front. If you have a chair, you can catch it. You can put your toe down anytime you want. At the end, we wanna make sure we come to a good cat stance so we can return to our neutral position. And then you can relax your hands to the side or put them on your hips. So walking is basically controlled balance where we're taking our balance and we're moving it to positions where our feet are then gonna be able to catch ourselves. So as I'm standing in this neutral position with my feet shoulder width apart, I'm gonna imagine a square in front of me where each side is equal in size to that shoulder apart distance. If I were to stand at the back of that square, when I take my stance, I want my feet to be on opposite sides of the square. So going back to the balancing, you remember the step one to balancing, the foot we were gonna step on, we wanted to have turned to a 45 degree angle. In this case, I'm gonna use that right foot. My left foot is going to push me into a cat stance, which is going to bring me to a neutral balance position. From here, I can move forward, back, sideways, any way I choose because I am completely in the center at control. In this case, I'm going to do a forward step. If I'm looking at my square, I want my step to go to the opposite corner of the square. Now, you'll notice from my cat stance, all I did was just pick up my toe to balance, put my heel out till it touched. I didn't actually drop the foot and lose my balance. I just put the heel out till it touched. From there, you can uh, commit the weight down to the toe. Notice the toe of my front foot is pointing the direction I'm going. The toe of the back foot is at a 45 degree angle. 
If we try that on the opposite side, again, starting from a neutral position, if I want to balance on the left foot, I turn that left foot to a 45 degree angle. My right foot pushes me into a cat stance. I'm going to pick up the toe, and then I'm going to set the heel to the opposite corner of that square. Then I'm going to commit my weight to the toe and bend the knee. Now I'm going to show you from the side. When you set the foot forward, if you go too far, watch my hips. My hips went back. You can see that hollow spot in my lumbar. If you're stepping to the right position, your hips are tucked for balance. That's as far as your foot's going to go forward. Now when I commit my weight, look, my hips are still underneath me. This gives me much better balance and superior strength. Let's start some walking exercises. So first, we're gonna start with just forward walking. We're not gonna involve the hands yet. We're just gonna to try to make the feet a little bit smarter. So going from what we were just talking about with the position of our walking, if I'm standing in a neutral position, I'm gonna start balancing on the right leg so I can step forward with the left foot. My right foot is gonna to turn to a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna to move to a cat stance, keeping my hips tucked under and my knee bent. I'm gonna lift up the toes. I'm going to step, if I'm imagining a line that's going in the middle of me, to the right side of that line. Notice again, I set the heel down. Then I'm going to commit my weight to the toe. I'm going to repeat that process as I step forward. So my left foot is now going to pick up. It's going to turn to a 45 degree angle. And my right foot is going to push me to balance on that left foot. I'll come to my cat stance pick up the toe. I'm going to reach out with that heel wherever it sits down. That's as big as my stance is going to get, but it's got to be back over to the left side of the line. Then I'm going to commit the weight to the toe, making sure I keep my hips tucked under. Rock the foot. Left foot pushes to cat stance. Keeping your balance, reach out to the corner and drop the weight to the toe. Shifting the left foot. Balancing on the left leg, keeping the knee bent and the hip tucked. Reaching with the heel, committing weight to the toe. I'm going to do one more. Moving backwards is almost the same as moving forward, but it's of course going to be backwards. So our first position, I'm going to start with my forward foot. In this case, it's my left foot. It's going to push me back to balance over that right leg. The left foot, when the weight leaves, is going to draw back to a cat stance. Now comes the challenging part. I'm going to pick up the toe. I'm going to reach that foot behind me, but I've also got to get it to the other side of that center line. I'm going to set down the heel, which makes that foot naturally a 45 degree angle. Now I've got to fix my front foot. My front foot needs to point the direction I'm going. So I'm going to pick up the toe and I'm going to rock it to point back towards the front. Right leg pushes me back to the left leg, comes to a cat stance. Knee comes up, foot reaches back and out to the side. Toes set down, heel commits, rock the front foot. Picking up the left leg. Balance, reach with the toe, toe first, then heel, rock the front foot. When you're done, you can bring your feet back to a neutral position and your hands up the side. 